Good evening, everybody. My name is Scott Jacobs, and you're listening to Juiced Sports Radio. And Randy Moss is now a San Francisco 49er. His workouts were apparently pretty impressive last week with New Orleans, but we were hearing that from his agent. Well, apparently he did something to impress San Francisco because they just signed him to a one-year deal. And the man he worked out with, Jim Harbaugh, because Alex Smith isn't eligible to throw passes until the league year starts, apparently thought enough of him to make him San Francisco's go-to deep threat, a position the 49ers desperately need and completely sorely lacked last season, despite getting to the NFC title game and nearly making the Super Bowl. Is Randy Moss the right fit for the 49ers? Let's take a look. The guy is 35 years old. He's played 13 seasons in the NFL. He's coming out of a year that he didn't play, so he's unretiring to join the 49ers. He was horrendous in 2010. Now, was that because he lost his love for the game? Was it because he needed a hiatus? Or was it because he's just not that good anymore? We will find out. Randy Moss has used his freakish athleticism for years to outjump and outrun defenders. The guy is an athletic god. But when you take a guy who's 35, how much of that prowess does he still have left? And can he still outrun defenders? And this is a guy that's notorious for not giving a full effort. Uh, we've seen him leave the field during a game uh, before it ended, uh, different antics in Oakland. He was cut by the Patriots despite an incredible uh, tenure there. He's had his issues. And obviously in 2010, he didn't make it with three different teams. What changed in a year is what I want to know. Look, Randy Moss's resume speaks for itself, and the guy is worth a shot. What do you really have to lose if you're the 49ers? But I don't think that the 49ers should put all their eggs in the Randy Moss basket. I still would like to see them go for a big play threat, either in free agency or in the draft. Because if Randy Moss is their key compliment guy to Vernon Davis, I'm just not feeling it. That's not to say Randy Moss doesn't have anything left. He very well might. But he's definitely not the guy who came out of Marshall and exploded in the NFL. He's not that guy anymore. And at 35, who would expect him to be? Randy Moss's numbers for his career are exceptional. 954 receptions, 14,888 career yards, 15.6 average, so he stretches the field. Clearly. He's an exceptional talent. Or was. We don't know. We don't know what he still has left. And like Peyton Manning, except for the injury aspect, that's what the 49ers are banking on, that he can be his old self. Now, Peyton Manning was pretty good still bef uh, the season before this past year. So teams are banking that he'll come back to full strength and be that guy again. But Randy Moss, as we said, wasn't that good his last season that he's played in the NFL. So what's the thing that's changed? That's my question, and that's what I keep reiterating over and over and over, because I'm not convinced anything has changed. Now, maybe San Francisco saw something that none of us have, and maybe Moss has regained that step. And if he has, the 49ers are in great shape. Bring back Alex Smith. You have Vernon Davis. Frank Gore is your workhorse running back. Obviously, that defense is exceptional. Maybe you can get something good out of Michael Crabtree, who had a relatively good year last year, but still hasn't lived up to his massive potential coming out of Texas Tech. So there you have it. The six foot four, 210 wide receiver Adam Marshall is taking whatever he has left to the Bay Area. I'm guessing that this is his last chance in the NFL. If he flops in San Francisco, he's done. Let me ask you, like it, love it, or hate it? What do you make of San Francisco's move to bring Randy Moss in? My name is Scott Jacobs. You've been listening to Juiced Sports Radio.